Hey guys, give another go this morning. Bob has a birthday party to attend, so I'm on my own. I want to take a minute, because Bob and I kind of talked about this. We don't want you guys to think that we got the same little pond we keep fishing over and over again. So for some of you that haven't been with us the whole time, about 30 minutes from my house, 30 minutes from Bob's house is a series here of like 20 small lakes. They go from five acres to 50. Probably 16 of those 20, give or take a lake or two, is what you'd fish. So far this year, we fished 12 of those 16 lakes. Now, I was here two weeks ago, the Saturday before the 4th, fished it. Uh, Bob and I fished it pretty heavy in March and April. Now, I don't know if we were there that much in May and June, but some of these lakes we've been to four or five times, some we've been to just once. But anyway, just want to let you know, it's not the same little lake. There's a lot of different ones, but uh, they all kind of look alike. So let's see if we can go catch some fish. There he goes, he hit it on the ball. Man, put that jig out there and he just nailed it when it was hit, after it hit the water. That's a decent fish. Oh. Get him out of the weeds. Oh. Come on. Get out of the weeds, there he is. I got him out of the weeds now. He was in the weeds there for a while. Oh boy. There we go. That is a nice fish, boys. Switched over. Top water did nothing. Worked the crankbait for a bit. Switched over to a jig, and that's what took him. Jig with a uh, franken toad on it. I just did a review video on that. That's what that'll get you. All right, uh, let's see what we get here. Four point two. Just a little over four pounds. Not quite four and a quarter. There we go. Get stuff moved around here. All right, there we go. Four and a quarter. Just a little short of that. Thank you much, girl. See you again next time. All right. Ah, right in the weeds. Jeez. Did you do it land right on top of it? Stop and the weeds a ways. <laughs> That's a nice one. I don't think he's quite ready to come in the boat yet. Try to get myself out of here too. Up here, buddy. There we go. All right, nice fish. Let me move out of the way so I don't get into it. There we go. Probably go a couple pounds. Made a changeover. They put him back in there, about two pounds, maybe two and a quarter. Show you what I changed to. Uh, you guys might not, if you haven't watched all my videos, you might not be familiar with this. I call it a shaky blade, because I made it. Basically, I took a shaky head, 3 8 ounce football head shaky head, and I attached a chatterbait blade to it. Basically, what it allows me to do is throw a chatterbait weedless. Because of all the vegetation I got, I thought that's what we're going to give a shot at for here. So, 
my own little invention. I don't know, maybe somebody makes something like it, but I hadn't seen one. All right, try for another one, huh? This is what I kind of like about these small lakes, like I mentioned up front. Each one can be a little different. Now, Bob and I always call this our quality lake. We don't catch a lot of fish here, usually in a day. If you catch three, four, five, you're probably doing pretty good. But they will be big. Uh, last time I was here, my first three fish averaged three and a half pounds. Now, conversely, I fished a lake yesterday, about 200 yards that way. Yeah, 300 yards. Probably caught 15 to 20 fish, all nine to 12 inches long. Now, if those had been bluegill, it would have been a great day. Unfortunately, they were bass. And I'm figuring, I mean, you're not going to see that video because I figure how many fish. Oh, there we go, there's no one. I'll have to get back to that. Oh. Appears they like my little shaky head blade, huh? There we go. A little bit smaller, a pound and a half or so, maybe. There we go. Put to that camera in case the sun's in the way, huh? Still working with the uh, shaky blade. Anyway, as I was saying, you're probably not going to see that video with all those little bass because that's got to be boring watching somebody do that. So, but that's the nice thing. I go there, I cut a whole bunch of little ones, had a lot of fun. Now I come here, I move over 300 yards, and now I'm catching decent sized fish in a different lake. So, anyway, thought I'd explain that one to you. Somebody tagged that, but that wasn't a weed. Not good enough. There we go. Right up here close. Still working on the chatterbait style bait, guys, but I have changed. Not by choice. I lost the other one. All right, there we go. Weren't quite as big as I thought you were, but I guess maybe that's because you hit it so close to the boat, huh? Another nice little, I don't know, pound a quarter, pound a half, something like that. Decent little fish. Now, if it was yesterday, that would have been the catch of the day yesterday. There we go. There's one. Pasty's fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh baby, come on up. That's a nice fish. We're gonna grab you this way. There's a lot of crankbait hooks there that I don't want to get my finger in. There we go. Whew, all right. With crankbait, whoa. <laughs> One little hooky right in the top of the mouth. And that is it. One little bitty hooky. That's all that took, get that out. All right, that is nice. Let's see what we got with this one, huh? Hang on, we're gonna move a little bit here. We'll come back. 
four point four point two nine a little bit bigger than the first one so not bad four two nine well I'll take them like that all day long guys all day long all right Here you go girl thank you that was fun okay there we go I got another one right off the bat. I got something I was gonna tell you, but we gotta wait a minute. There we go. Tell you, they're a little bit tougher. Oh, there we go. I didn't barely have him. They are a little bit tougher with those crankbaits in their mouth. Hang on. Now we got them good. All right. They're a little tougher when they got that crankbait in there. Now I got to move this. Got him hooked a little better than the last one. All right, I got a better grip on him now. I'll tell you what, crankbaits may catch fish, but them double trouble hooks are a real pain. Three pounds, not bad. All right. Now, let me tell you real quick what I started to say before. There we go, three pounds. Let's put this one back real quick and get him back, and then we'll talk about it. Don't get locked in on something. I took three fish in a row with the chatterbait and said, well, that's it, that's what they're doing. But at the same token, I said, okay, I went around a little bit, let's switch over, let's go back to a crankbait. I don't wanna try that yet. And bam, two in a row, four and a quarter, three pounds, made the switch. So don't lock yourself in on one lure, just even if it's catching fish, don't do that. Switch it around a little bit. You can always go back to the other lure again later. Well, guys, I'm gonna call her good. It is getting hot. It's time to go home and get in the air conditioning. Totally different day than yesterday. But then again, as I mentioned early on, we have all these small lakes and we fish all these different lakes. Each lake is different, even though they're all right here in the same area. Uh, yesterday, I probably took 17 to 20 fish. I'd be lucky if they, uh, came out weighing four or five pounds when I put them all together. Today I catch six fish and the top five came up to 14 pounds. Different lake, everything's just a little bit different. So that's kind of what we like about this place. It's just go to a different lake and you get something different each time you go. Anyway, stuck with it. That's the main thing today. It started out top water, plastics, nothing worked. Finally caught one in the jig. Moved over to Chatterbait, did well there, but as I said, I didn't stick with it. I changed, I moved, I went on to something else and uh, ended up picking up the ones with the crankbait. So anyway, had a good time. It's time to go in and cool off. Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would, and I hope to see you again real soon.